Okay, so we're talking about the digestive system now, and the GI tract includes the mouth, which is here, the pharynx, which you can kind of see part of it, and then the esophagus, which you can't see at all, goes down into the stomach, um, and then you have the small intestines and then the large intestines. And then you have accessory digestive organs, which include, um, they secrete products into the GI tract. Those include salivary glands, which you can see here. Um, there's three that we have to know. And on the model, the big one that you see right there is called the uh, parotid salivary gland right here. And then underneath here, um, it's number eight, if you can see it. That is the submandibular salivary gland. And then over on the other side, right there, is the sublingual salivary gland. And um, all of the things I'm about to talk about, you can find there um, what they do and what they secrete on figure 26.1. 26.1. Um, okay, so then the next um, accessory digestive organ is the gallbladder, which... I have to take this apart to see. Ugh. Take all of it apart. Um, let's see here. You, the gallbladder is right here on the back of the liver, um, and the liver is actually also an accessory organ, and so is um, the pancreas, which is right here. Okay, go over the lobes of the liver. Okay, um, so the lobes of the liver, you see here on the back. Um, just want to make sure that we Please. tell you exactly right. Here we go. Okay, so you have the right lobe right here, the left lobe, and then you have the quadrate lobe, and then up here you have the caudate um, lobe. And so again, this is the gallbladder. Mm -hmm. And this is the inferior vena cava, which is taking blood back to the heart. Um, and I think that is list okay. which those are. Okay. So the one that is red right here is the hepatic artery proper. Um, and then the one that's like blue looking, that is the hepatic portal vein. Um, and the vein is taking is taking in um, oxygenated blood to the liver to supply the liver and the artery. Um, it's not oxygenated blood. Um, and then this is the um, bile duct, which is, yeah. Do you want to do the stomach too, the parts of the stomach? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so then on the stomach here you have the different layers. Um, let's see here. Make sure we get it right. So this is um, the oblique muscular layer, um, and you can kind of see it goes diagonal. And then this right here is the um, circular muscular layer, and then these right here, you can see they're going longitudinal, um, is the longitudinal muscular layer. Okay, fundus. And Yeah, so right here is the fundus, and then this whole thing right here is the body. Um, and then you can't see, let's see if we can see, inside here is the rugae, the ridges, and that helps to increase surface area. And then, let's put that back together. And then you have the um, greater curvature, which is right here. And then you have the um, pylorus, which is down right here. Um, and then the pyloric sphincter, which goes, the pyloric sphincter opens up into the duodenum. Um, so it allows food going from the stomach into the duodenum. Okay. And I think that's... Well, what about, we have the greater, greater curvature, and uh -huh. then where's the lesser? The, oh, the lesser curvature, sorry. It's just like this right here. Okay, cool. Is there another sphincter up here somewhere? Um, yeah, I think that's the lower esophageal sphincter that allows food passageway from the esophagus into the stomach, but it's not really a true sphincter. Um, it's just a flap. It's just a flap. Perfect. Yeah.